Last time I saw you, I think you had the beard because I think I guess you were shooting this probably around the same time. Or yeah, yeah. Or you had just finished Channel, Parkland, maybe? Channel one or you were just middle. starting Parkland, I think. It was like around April last year, so I guess that would have been. That would have that would have been for this then. Yeah. 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 I was kind of curious. I thought that's that's got to be for something. So. Yeah. No, I had I tend to not shave if I'm not working. Yeah. Um, I actually just shaved last night. I had a I had more going on, but. Yeah. Do you like beard or not beard? I pref <laughs> I prefer not shaving. Yeah. So that's for sure. Yeah. This is what the interview is all about, folks. It's yeah, all about facial <laughs> hair. So I'm Mark Walters with BigFanboy.com. I'm sitting here with Tom Welling, a star of the new movie Draft Day. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about this film, we see a lot of sports movies. You see a lot of movies where you have, like, you're out there on the football field, there's a game going on, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The fact that Ivan was able to make this as engaging and as fast-paced as it was, and it's all about behind-the-scenes yeah. stuff, I thought that was really, you know, pretty incredible. And, and I actually had asked you last night about, you know, working with Ivan, because mm -hmm. he's, he's, like, such a personal hero to me. I, I've loved his films for so many years. Um, and you mentioned something about how you and, and Kevin talked about your respective... JFK movie experiences right. and stuff on set. So I guess describe that day on set when you were like in the locker room, like going head to head with him, and you know what was yeah. what was the energy like on the set for that? It was pretty cool. Um, I hadn't I hadn't met Kevin. Um, obviously, I hadn't worked with him before, and I showed up, and we were he was already doing a scene in the locker room, and I sort of was there, sort of just trying to get a vibe of the energy on the set and how he worked, so I could be prepared for you know just how to how to block the scene even with him. And I found the environment to be very quiet, professional, but at the same time warm. It's just focused. Everything's very focused about the material. Mm -hmm. And then with Ivan sort of protecting the zone in front of the camera and then, you know, being in a scene with Kevin, it, 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 it's not easy in a sense that it's not difficult or not hard, but there's a simplicity to what they do because of the focus that allows you to just really be in it. Um, it, it was, it's, a, it's a sort of environment that if I were to direct, I would want to create for actors, mm -hmm. for sure. And when we see you, like the first time you show up, you're you're kind of ramped up to an eleven. So like right. like, where how was it finding the balance of, like how angry to be in that moment? You know, I mean obviously yeah. you're supposed to be mad because right. of what's going on, but yeah, like, did Ivan kind of help you figure that out or? No, I was able to get pretty upset on my own. <laughs> <laughs> what was going through your head? I, what what makes you think well, anger on set? Well, I was just you know you, I put myself in the in the shoes of the character and what he would have be how how upset he would be having come back and, and rehabbed in his knee and be in the best shape and be more prepared than he's ever been in his life just to find out they're going to pick, in his opinion, some new punk kid who everybody says is good but is unproven and untested. Um, and that, that, that's, that can lead to a lot of frustration pretty quickly for someone. Did you get a chance to talk to any like real-life football players to maybe get some sensibilities of what like they've brought yeah. in so many of those guys go through that. You know? Yeah, I did, and, and we didn't so much talk about football. I was more curious about the lifestyle that they had to live and how the how being a professional football player takes a toll on you and your family and your relationships, yeah. and um, the, it's it's a lot of work. And every day, every day, your job's up for grabs, and there's somebody right behind you trying to take it. Yeah, there's that great moment where we see you, you know, sitting with your wife and kid, and it and it kind of brings it home. Like these are real people too. Yeah. Like you know, they, they they may be sports stars and superstars. Yeah. But they have families and they worry about this stuff just as much as anybody else. Absolutely. I mean, here he is thinking, you know, if he if he gets traded or loses his job, then you know, he's, he's got to think about where his child goes to school. You know, he's he figure out it, his wife has to be willing to move. I mean, it's it's not easy. Yeah. Uh, you said something last night that, that kind of intrigued me. Uh, somebody had asked about uh, whether you would consider returning to television or not, mm -hmm. and you had said you didn't really have any interest in that. Is, is yeah. that kind of one of those things you feel like you've been there, done that, after 10 years? You know, it's, it doesn't, it's not that I, it's a good question. It's not that I feel like I've been there, done that. It's just I'm very curious now about film mm -hmm. and that process. Um, I did spend 10 years um, being on television, and I think that there's a, there's a longevity to that or there's a, there's a, there's a mentality for that where I think, as I even said last night, it's more of a marathon, and, and, and film is more of a sprint. Plus, the idea of playing different characters as opposed to one character right, yeah. over a duration. I think that's yeah. another thing that, that's, that's intriguing to me at the moment. Yeah. Can, can you talk about, like, I, I know this will be my last question, but mm -hmm. you've done uh, comedy. Obviously, we've seen you do comedy with Cheaper Out of the Dozen. We've seen you do drama. Uh, is there a kind of role that you want to do, maybe, like, for upcoming movies? Um, I'm open to a lot of things. Um, but I, I tend to like, you know, stories that have to do about, like, a human struggle. Mm -hmm. And I do, I do pref maybe that's the reason why I'm in all these football things is because I, I like physical characters, you know, guys who, like, use their hands and do things. So, yeah. you know, but I'm, but I'm open to everything.
Yeah. yeah. Very cool, man. It's good seeing you. Yeah, yeah. good to see yeah, you too. Take care. Thanks so much. <laughs>